very high quality feeling phone. Uh, the design is also much more square now with flatter sides, which I kind of like. I think it looks really sleek and it kind of gives it a much more industrial look. They've also made improvements to the keyboard. It now has a matte finish, which I think looks much nicer than the glossy finish of last year's Key One. And the keys are now 20% larger, so it's much more comfortable and easy to type on. You still have the same 52 keyboard shortcuts that you had before, but now BlackBerry has added what they call a speed key, and this lets you access those shortcuts even if you're within another application. So instead of having to go back to the home screen, you can be in the Chrome browser for example and jump directly to another application like Instagram or Facebook or any other shortcut that you have assigned on the keyboard. Another big change is the addition of dual cameras, which makes this the very first BlackBerry to have dual cameras. Uh, so what you have here is two 12 megapixel sensors. The main sensor comes in at f1.8 and the secondary sensor comes in at f2.6 and it's a telephoto lens that provides up to 2x optical zoom. And of course, it also comes with portrait mode because it's 2018 and every smartphone has portrait mode. Inside, it's got a faster Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor, and they've doubled the RAM this year to six gigabytes. So you should get much faster performance when it comes to launching applications or multitasking. And it'll also come with 64 or 128 gigabytes of internal storage, but the 128 gigabyte model will only be available in select markets. It's got a 3,500 milliamp hour battery inside with Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0. And there's a new application on board called Power Center that will show you how apps are used using your battery life, and it also uses machine learning to understand your charging behavior and better predict when you'll run out of battery life. Aside from those major changes, the rest of the experience is pretty much the same as last year's model. It has the same 4.5 inch LCD display with 1080p resolution and three by two aspect ratio. The only difference this year is that the glass now extends to the very top of the phone, whereas last year's model had a metal bezel. It's running Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box, and it's your typical close to stock like BlackBerry experience, but you do get all the BlackBerry customizations like the BlackBerry Hub and BlackBerry's best in class DTEK security software. But one of the newest additions to the BlackBerry software this year is called the Locker, and this lets you store away applications and other documents and photos into a folder that only you can access with either your fingerprint or password. And you can also hide applications that are stored in your locker from appearing in your app drawer or on your home screen so that other people can't see them. The BlackBerry Key 2 will be priced at $649 in the US and comes in two colors, silver and black, and will be available in the coming weeks. So this has been our quick hands-on look of the BlackBerry Key 2. Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. We definitely appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel, which is down below if you haven't already. And of course, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And check us out on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Google+, all that good stuff will be linked down below. And check out the website as well for more in-depth coverage, androidauthority.com, because we are your source for all things Android.